Hi, if you want to specialize your general engineering knowledge to the design of wind turbine towers and support structures, this course is especially for you. If you have always wondered how to safely crush an empty beer can on one of those wild student parties and what unifies the art of safely crushing an empty beer can on the forehead with a buckling of wind turbine towers, then this course will provide you with a deep theoretical understanding of the unifying theory of, those bo of both of them. If you have been ever sitting on a beach with a pina colada in your hand and wondered about the nice patterns of the sand in the sea on the beach, then in this course you will learn how, what beach marks actually tell you about fatigue failure in wind turbine towers and components. It is interesting to know that a modern offshore wind turbine comprises more than 90% of metallic parts and most of it is steel. So in this course we will basically deal with everything apart from the blades. So you take the wind turbine, remove the blades, what is left, these are the things which we will be covering in this course. For example, a medieval connection detail like a bolt, you might think, okay, it's very mature. You were wondering, you would wonder to see that we get a lot of failure still today in bolted connections. And in this course, we will tell you how to properly design a bolted connections and how to avoid bolt failure. A new segment in this course is also this uh, soil structure interaction of monopiles, where you will learn how to model a monopile embedded in the soil by means of 3D constitutive models. An also interesting question is how corroded can a structure be and still considered safe? So if you have ever owned one of those old rusty cars and you were afraid of getting a new permission to drive it on the road, this is exactly the question we will ask. How corroded can a wind turbine be and still be considered as safe to operate? And how can we protect our offshore structures from corrosion? We look at the state-of-the-art generator systems such as direct drive machines and uh, also superconducting machines. And we look at the structure in the nacelle to accommodate those machines and all the necessities and, and considerations you need to take in order to have machines that operate with such generators. A very prominent failure uh, cause is white edge cracking, which we find in gearboxes and in large scale roller bearings. And it is clear that it is very expensive to change those parts on an offshore turbine. So in this course, we will teach you everything about how to characterize that kind of failure and how to avoid it by designing reliable gearboxes and uh, ba roller bearings. This, column re uh, sorry, this course rests on two columns. One column is the theoretical knowledge which we provide and the other column is the industrial point of view, the practical application. We think that both of them are equally important. So for this purpose, we always invite top tier players from in our industrial partners to give you an overview and a perspective from the real world out there so that you can combine the theoretical knowledge with the applied knowledge. If you think this course is interesting, don't hesitate to sign up for it. It is really easy. If you have any more questions to the course, please don't hesitate to drop me an email or give me a call. I will come back to you. And until then, I see you next semester. Thanks for your attention. Bye.